The latest DP300 practice test questions are newly updated which will help you learn the concepts and skills tested on the exam. 1. You have an Azure SQL Database Managed Instance. The instance starts experiencing performance issues. You need to identify which query is causing the issue and retrieve the execution plan for the query. The solution must minimize administrative effort. What should you use? A. The Azure Portal B. Extended Events C. Query Store D. Dynamic Management Views Answer C. 2. You have an Azure SQL Managed Instance. You need to gather the last execution of a query plan and its runtime statistics. The solution must minimize the impact on currently running queries. What should you do? A. Generate an estimated execution plan. B. Generate an actual execution plan. C. Run sys.dm underscore exec underscore query underscore plan underscore scacks. D. Generate live query statistics. Answer. C. 3. You have an Azure SQL database named DB1 on a server named Server1. The Intelligent Insights Diagnostics log identifies that several tables are missing indexes. You need to ensure that indexes are created for the tables. What should you do? A. Run the dbccsqlperf command. B. Run the dbccdb reindex command. C. Modify the automatic tuning settings for db1. D. Modify the query store settings for db1. Answer. C. You have an Azure Data Solution that contains an Enterprise Data Warehouse in Azure Synapse Analytics named DW1. Several users execute ad hoc queries to DW1 concurrently. You regularly perform automated data loads to DW1. You need to ensure that the automated data loads have enough memory available to complete quickly and successfully when the ad hoc queries run. What should you do? A. Assign a smaller resource class to the automated data load queries. B. Create sampled statistics to every column in each table of DW1. C. Assign a larger resource class to the automated data load queries. D. Hash distribute the large fact tables in DW1 before performing the automated data loads. Answer. C. A company plans to use Apache Spark Analytics to analyze intrusion detection data. You need to recommend a solution to analyze network and system activity data for malicious activities and policy violations. The solution must minimize administrative efforts. What should you recommend? A. Azure Data Lake Storage B. Azure Databricks C. Azure HD Insight D. Azure Data Factory Answer. C. 6. Based on the PAUSE prototype, which Azure SQL database compute tier should you use? A. Business Critical 4v Core B. Hyperscale C. General Purpose VV Core D. Serverless Answer. A. 
7. You have an Azure SQL database named SQLDB1. You need to minimize the amount of space by the data and log files of SQLDB1. What should you run? A. DBCCSHRINKDATABASE B. SP underscore clean underscore DB underscore free underscore space C. SP underscore clean underscore DB underscore file underscore free underscore space D. DBCC shrink file Answer A. 8. You have an instance of SQL Server on Azure Virtual Machines that has a database named DB1. You plan to implement Azure SQL Data Sync for DB1. Which isolation level should you configure? A. Serializable B. Snapshot C. Read Uncommitted D. Read Committed Answer. B. You need to implement a solution to notify the administrators. The solution must meet the monitoring requirements. What should you do? A. Create an Azure Monitor Alert Rule that has a static threshold and assign the alert rule to an action group. B. Add a diagnostic setting that logs query store runtime statistics and streams to an Azure Event Hub. C. Add a diagnostic setting that logs timeouts and streams to an Azure Event Hub. D. Create an Azure Monitor Alert Rule that has a dynamic threshold and assign the alert rule to an action group. Answer Laughing Face. 10. What should you use to migrate the PostgreSQL database? A. Azure Data Box B. As Copy C. Azure Database Migration Service D. Azure Site Recovery Answer C.